All right, so it's been about 10 days since the seventh anniversary celebration started on Global. And uh, at this point, I'm sure a lot of you guys are pretty much done with all of the part one events, right? Like you cleared all the red zone stages, you farmed all the free to play units, uh, finished the ultimate clash, did all your summons, which hopefully went really well. And you might be starting to get a little bit bored because you're out of content to do, right? So if you are one of those people, which I definitely am, then I do have some good news because part two of the celebration will be starting very, very soon on July 19th, which is Tuesday. Now, obviously for different time zones, it might be a different day, but the point is we are very close to part two of the seventh anniversary celebration. So in today's video, I wanna give you guys a quick preview of all of the upcoming events and banners and awakenings that we can expect to see in part two to uh, get you guys prepared. So yeah, with that said, let's jump right into it. And we're gonna start here with the little uh, preview message here, which says the infinite ultimate battle Part 2 of the 7th Anniversary Oversized Dokkan Festival is now on. In Part 2, new Extreme Z battles and new event stages have arrived. Now keep in mind that this is directly translated from Japanese, so that's why it uh, might sound a little bit off, but that's fine. In addition, there will be a new co-op campaign to challenge with friends as well as a legendary summon. Let's play with Dokkan for the oversized 7th anniversary. I don't know why they keep saying oversized. I don't know what that means. Unless it just is talking about like the size of the celebration, like being a really big celebration, maybe. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Okay, anyways, moving on to the first event here, which is actually a current event, the Goku and Chi Chi story event, which will be getting three new stages. So right now, we only have levels one, two, and three. So for part two, we'll be getting levels four, five, and six, along with the Dokkan Awakening for the free-to-play AGL Chi Chi into AGL Chi Chi and Goku. Now, as you can see, they do eventually get an Extreme Z Awakening, which will be for part three of the celebration. So for now, they're getting a Dokkan Awakening and we're getting three levels, three new levels for this event. And popping over to the next event, which is for the Bulma and Vegeta, we're also going to be getting the remaining three levels, along with the token awakening of the Biz Vegeta into Vegeta and Bulma, but not the Extreme Z awakening yet. And lastly, we have the other story event for the Gohan, Goten, and Trunks, and we'll be getting the remaining stages for this event as well as the token Awakening into LR, Gohan, Goten, and Trunks. But once again, they're not Extreme Z Awakening yet until later on in the celebration. Okay, so three token Awakenings for the three for the play units, a bunch of new stages for more stones, which is always great, but uh, they're still not gonna be in their most powerful optimal forms until part three of the celebration rolls around. Now from there, we have a very exciting Extreme Z battle, at least exciting to me, and I'm sure most of you guys, and that would be for the Fizz Omega Shenron and the Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Now for global players, this has a special connotation because when these guys first came out, now if you guys are newer players, you don't know this, but when these guys first released on global, they literally had no leader skills. Okay, their leader skills literally said to be released because we didn't have the category system on global yet. So they released these guys with no leader skills, which was uh, an interesting decision to say the least. But anyways, these guys, the original category leads on global, finally getting their Extreme Z Awakenings, and they're both very, very good. I'm not gonna go into details about exactly what they do here, but uh, 
I cannot wait for them. So uh, yeah, Extreme Z Awakenings, Extreme Z Battle for the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and the Omega Shenron. And we also have a second Extreme Z Battle for the Super Saiyan God Goku, specifically the Tech Super Saiyan God Goku and the STR Super Saiyan God Vegeta. So four summonable Extreme Z Awakenings, two category leads and two uh, general SSR pool units, I guess. But this is also a regular Extreme Z Battle event, so we will be getting our standard uh, 30 Dragon Stones for the 30 levels, and, uh, you know, Kai's and Orbs and all that good stuff, right? So, yeah, two Extreme Z Battles, and then after that, we have some new stages for Red Zone for the movie side. It's uh, level 3 versus Cooler, and level 4 versus Fusion Android 13. And then on the GT side, we have uh, level 3 versus General Rildo, and level 4 versus Baby. And there's still going to be three remaining levels for each side, which we'll be getting in part 3. And after that, we have some new missions for the Fighting Legend Goku event, specifically the GT Edition one. And they should be GT Heroes and GT Bosses, I think the remaining three here will be for part 3, and for the Legendary Vegeta event, we'll be getting missions for uh, Super Saiyan 2 and Majin Power. And from there, we have the new banner, the Legendary Summon featuring the LR Kaioken Goku and the LR Vegeta slash Great Ape Vegeta. Now, this banner, um, I'm gonna just say it right now, is not very good. <laughs> It's not a very good banner. If you look at the featured units here, aside from the LRs, we just got, of course, as you would expect, uh, a bunch of Gokus and Vegetas. Uh, the value here is really not good, especially if you compare it to the Dual Dokkan Fest from Part 1. But that's always been the case for these anniversaries, right? The Part 2 banner has always been very much inferior to the Part 1 banners. But I will tell you that the Kaoken Goku and the Great Ape Vegeta are both great units, and uh, I definitely will be going for them, but I won't feel good about summoning on this banner because I just don't think it's a very good banner. But the good thing is that we are able to use those rainbow tickets we've been collecting since the beginning of the anniversary uh, on this banner. We can also use these rainbow tickets on the Dual Dokkan Fest uh, banners once the discounts go away. And by the way, this banner is not dropping immediately with part two. Uh, like I said, part two should be starting on the 19th, right? And this banner should be coming out on the 26th, so about a week after part two starts. So there will be a time delay between the start of part two and the release of the part two uh, legendary summon banner. So uh, prepare accordingly, you will have some extra time to save stones for this banner if you choose to spend stones on it, but as I said, I don't think it's a very good banner. The units, the new ones, are good, but um, the overall value here is pretty, pretty low. So yeah, that is essentially part two of the 7th anniversary celebration, guys. A uh, quick summary for you, we have... Uh, you know, new stages for the Goku and Chi Chi event along with the Dokkan Awakening. And then we have new stages for the Vegeta and Bulma event with their Dokkan Awakening. We have new stages for the Gohan, Goten, and Trunks event with the LR Dokkan Awakening. And then we have the Extreme Z Battle for Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Omega Shenron. The Extreme Z Battle for Tech Super Saiyan God Goku and STR Super Saiyan God Vegeta. We have new stages for Red Zone, both GT and Movie Bosses. And then we have some new missions for the GT Legendary Goku event, new missions for the Legendary Vegeta event, and then the uh, Dual LR Legendary Summon as well, about a week after Part 2 starts. And just to make sure that I didn't miss anything, I'm going to quickly scroll down here in this news release. We have, of course, your, you know, special missions. We have... Uh, this new co-op mission or co-op campaign, which is Apprentice to Whis, Convince with the Gourmet of the Earth team co-op campaign. So just uh, basically more missions for all of us to complete together to 
get more rewards like some dragon stones, uh, trading items, some meats, uh, rainbow ticket, and all that good stuff. And aside from that, I don't think there's really anything else to talk about guys. That is, like I said, part two of the seventh anniversary celebration. Part three will be coming uh, at the end of the month. And then we also have an EX part, which is actually pretty exciting. So uh, I'll talk about that once we get there. But part two starting soon, more content on the way. The drought will be over soon. So hopefully you guys are uh, excited for that. And that is gonna do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video. Signing out.